Now, throughout this video, I've been exposing the ways that Donovan so far has been hypocritical. He's been deceptive. I've even shown you the uh, third party, neutral party uh, opinions and takes and interpretations on what's going on. For example, from Tony Bruno, John Samez, Steve the Dean Williams, on the various attacks that Donovan has made on me and things that he's done in public, what their thoughts are, as well as my own, as well as the very physical blatant hypocrisies, such as with the make them regret, regret again hat, attacking it without giving an explanation for it, all those kind of things. However, this video is about to get a lot more serious, and I mean that, so buckle up and uh, put your coffee down for a second here. What I'm about to expose to you is a Donovan Sharp who presents to be, uh, you know, he has a girlfriend, he's in a relationship cohabitating. He claims he's in a relationship and that he has a girlfriend. This is false. For almost two years now, Donovan Sharp has been secretly married to a woman that he goes by, Devon Sharp. You might know her from his YouTube channel. She used to be called Sharp Assist. Then once they got married, she became Devon Sharp. Interesting how that works, huh? In uh, July 2019, late July. So we'll get more into who she is, and she's actually a public figure, by the way, and we'll demonstrate why that is in a little bit. But Donovan is in a marriage and has every intention of spending the rest of his life with this woman, Devon Sharp. Here's a uh, picture of them, for example. These are publicly available off their social media and things. Donovan has been posting pictures above her all over his YouTube, pictures of her ass and stuff all over his public Instagram, uh, even his Twitter and stuff, all kinds of stuff, right? These are publicly available. Well, his Twitter got suspended, but it's still available on his Instagram and YouTube community posts and all that. So he's been secretly married to this woman and lying about it for years at this point, almost two years come July. So when actually, let's show a little clip here too of what exactly I mean by lying. This is a video recently filmed in Miami, Florida, filmed a few weeks ago, where he explicitly publicly lies about this and mocks it, trying to evade it. You know yes, what I'm yes. Listen, I have a confession to make. I have a confession yes. to make. Yes. I am secretly married to Devin. <laughs> there you go. Unbelievable. 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 Let's watch that one more time just so it really sinks in. What you're seeing, what you're witnessing, even how uncomfortable it is and cringeworthy. Give it a watch one more time here. You know yes, yes. Listen, I have a confession to make. I have a yes. confession to make. Yes. I am secretly married to Devin. <laughs> there you go. Unbelievable. 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 So what Donovan is doing is denying through, and the comments that on that video get roasted, and they roast him. Uh, he's basically, through comedy and humor, he's trying to brush off the accusations that he is secretly married to this woman, which was first exposed by MGTOW Dictionary several months ago. They have entire videos, multiple, not just one here. We see the married dating coaches, but several, and they've exposed Donovan for many months now that he is secretly married to the woman that you guys know as Devon Sharp. Uh, as we're showing here, they even have a video trailer. That's where the screenshots from is still where she's in a video trailer, right? She's a public figure, uh, part of the show, a moderator, actually. So it was first exposed by them, but more recently, more credibly by me, as someone who's known Donovan for several years, has met him and his wife in real life at the 21 convention, as we've discussed uh, at length here at the, you know, in the show, in the video. So I came out more recently and finally confirmed this for the MGTOW guys who have been citing this for several months now. Here's my take on it recently on Tony Bruno's channel. You can see for yourself how it goes. Like if some Donovan should own up to his mistakes and lose a lot of money for it. For example, Donovan Sharp got secretly married to his girlfriend back in 2019. Oh. A lot of people don't like that, don't want to hear that, but that's what happened. He even had a one year anniversary in Florida back last year in 2020. But people don't know about this. Donovan, but then Donovan goes anti marriage on his channel all day long, right? Oh, if his oh. audience knew that, if his audience knew that, he'd lose a lot of money. So he lies about it consistently over and over and over again, just like Rolo. These are the ways these guys get defrauded in ways they don't realize. So this is a big problem for Donovan. He is secretly married. He has been married for almost two years. And whether or not he's legally married is a separate issue. And we're going to investigate that now, what that means, what I'm talking about in that regard. But he has he had a wedding with her in late July. He exchanged vows with her. He exchanged rings. I've seen the ring personally, as have another half a dozen speakers at the 21 convention 2019 where she was showing off this wedding ring, claiming it was a wedding ring, wearing it on her left-handed ring finger, where you're supposed to wear a wedding ring. She wore it to this event, had dinner with these speakers, and showed it to many of them. I'm not the only one that's known this. A lot of us have known this for a long time. I'm not going to name names too many here, but uh, many of them know it. And it's a complicated, delicate issue, at least early on. You know, when someone gets married, they don't necessarily want to make it public. They're a public figure like Donovan. Maybe he has a reason for keeping it private for a few weeks or even a few months, maybe, right? But we're coming up on two years now. And this video that I just showed you, and I'll show it to you one more time, this quick clip, 
This is after he has been exposed by the channel here publicly with public interest and fair use. And they're showing, they're demonstrating that he is in a marriage with this woman. What he calls a marriage, he calls himself her husband, she, and he calls her his wife. This is how they operate in real life. And this is a fucking problem because it shows intent. Because after he was exposed here on this channel and by me in the clip I just showed you, what does he do? He goes down to Florida on Florida soil in Miami, Florida, after he was exposed repeatedly to almost 300,000 YouTube subscribers. He says this shit. You know yes, what I'm yes. Listen, I have a confession to make. I have a yes. confession to make. Yes. I am secretly married to Devin. <laughs> there you go. Unbelievable. 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 Ha, ha, ha. Real funny. You do have a commission to make, Donovan. You're married to that woman. I'm going to prove that right fucking now. And it's going to hurt. And I don't give a fuck. Let's get into it. So some backstory, first of all. Donovan, I don't know whether or not he's legally married. And let's investigate what exactly the hell that means. Can you be married without being legally married? Well, let's investigate. This is an article from Rand, uh, about Rand Paul on MSNBC. There's also articles like this on CNN, Time Magazine, all kinds of things. Rand Paul is an advocate, sitting U.S. Senator from Kentucky, by the way. Rand Paul is an advocate for what's called the privatization of marriage or private marriage. So is his father, Ron Paul, former congressman, three-time presidential candidate and medical doctor. He's a big advocate of private marriage as well. Essentially, like the article here in MSNBC talks about, it is removing government from the whole marriage equation completely making it a private, religious, or otherwise spiritual, personal ceremony that still has per, uh, potential legal ramifications in terms of contract law, but definitely social, family-type uh, relationships. It's declaring intent to be married, that someone is your wife and the other person is the husband, to build a family, to be married and to be together, and for people to respect that. Now, this is something that many, some of you uh, do know, some of you don't, so it's rather than watching. This is something that I did and I pioneered years ago in the manosphere personally, something that even Rolo Tomasi has commended me on, on his blog, The, the Irrational Male. This is back uh, not too long ago, maybe a year and a half, two years ago. And he actually compliments me on what I did with private marriage by you know, learning from guys like Rand Paul that talk about these issues philosophically and in a legal sense, well, what kind of changes can be made in the United States? So Rolo actually compliments me here, someone who me and him don't get along at all, but Donovan is a huge fan of. And I got the idea again from Rand Paul and to a lesser extent, his father, Ron Paul, as well as the men's rights community, uh, Paul Elam and these other speakers and stuff, who are very critical, and rightly so, of how men are treated and fathers are treated in divorce court and family court in the United States. I believe, like many others in the manosphere, that men are not treated fairly in those kind of court systems. And that by inviting the government into your home and into your family, into your life and your relationship, you're inviting a necessary risk. You're exposing yourself to risk of the government fucking things up through bureaucracy, incompetence, malice, tyranny, whatever you want to call it, the government fucks a lot of things up in marriage and it's just stupid. I don't want them in my life. And I was actually married years ago to a woman that some of you know is Medusa. Her real name formerly was Marilee. I currently don't know what it is. That's all separate fucking story. I gave a speech on that marriage here. You can still see it on YouTube called Marrying Medusa, How to Survive a Female Psychopath. I was very clear in that speech what happened during that relationship, including the private marriage issue that you see here discussed by Rand Paul. This is not a secret to my fans and fans of 21 Studios. Uh, this is us here together. This is a picture from the wedding itself. Uh, and we actually had a speaker marry us. Uh, so the right, that's us marry at the wedding. Here's the speaker, Greg Swan, speaking at the 21 convention for a second time in 2014 in Tampa. So this is us. This is what we did. I did it very much inspired by Rand Paul and Ron's father, Ron Paul. And, you know, to a lesser extent, the manosphere, men's rights community and all that. It was complicated. And I thought this up on my own. And it really protected me as Rolo Tomasi cites from potential negative consequences in divorce court. I completely sidestepped that and evaded it by being intelligent, even though the relationship was otherwise obviously not very fun, not very, not very healthy, quite toxic. And the speech there is available. You can go watch and discover what happened. But if you notice what I'm telling you here very clearly is that this was not a secret. It was live streamed on the YouTube channel. There's a video that I gave that explicitly indicates it was not a legal marriage, it was a private marriage. And we were very clear about this. She even introduces herself here as Marilee Johnson on the 21 Report with one of our speakers. Hey, Marilee Johnson here with the 21 Report. And we're here with Sock, and you just gave your 2014 keynote address. Great speech. 
So, you know, this is not a secret for many years in the channel. You guys could go, those videos are still available. You could see that it was years ago, a controversy in and of itself. The issue is that Donovan did this too, and he's been lying about it for several years, which I did not tell him to do at any fucking point. In fact, he brings a bad name to the very concept of private marriage by lying about it and being a hypocritical, fraudulent, scumbag piece of shit about it. He makes it look stupid and he gives ammunition to the feminists by doing it this way, by being a fucking liar and a fucking fraud. One more time just to roll the tape before we get more into this. You know yes, what I'm saying? yes. Listen, I have a confession to make. I have a yes. confession to make. Yes. I am secretly married to Devin. <laughs> there you go. Unbelievable. 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 Yeah, unbelievable. Let's get into it, Donovan. So first of all, Donovan took up an interest in this in late 2018 uh, on his first show, the you know the Sharp Reality and whatnot. He had me on a show. This is the Patreon post before he brought it live on YouTube where we did the interview. Thousands and thousands of people saw it before he later took it down. Questions for tonight's appearance by Anthony Johnson about private marriage. And he actually then emailed me uh, many of the questions that he got from his Patreon fans about private marriage. This is in uh, late 2018. He would later get married in July 2019 to this woman known as, again, Devon Sharp. So these are some of the questions. This is the Patreon. The YouTube video no longer exists, that link. But uh, there is a clip of it somewhere on his Patreon still. You can go listen to the audio of uh, what went on there before he got married to Devon Sharp. Again, I want to make it clear that Donovan does not claim, he explicitly claims as in that video, that he is not married to that woman. He is mocking it and trying to comedically disarm it and get away from it and distance himself from that idea. That accusation that has been going on for months now on the MGTOW Dictionary channel, as well as the clip I showed you that went to almost 300,000 subscribers about Antonio Bruno's channel about Donovan Sharp being married. I explicitly make that claim. I stand behind it and I mean it a thousand percent. In fact, I invite Donovan to sue me for defamation if that is not true and that is false. Sue me, motherfucker. I fucking dare you because you're fucking lying and I fucking know it. So let's get more into it with the questions. We got the questions here that he emails me. We got the Patreon post. It's still available there. In public, you can see and there's various, you know, Donovan repeatedly claims this woman is his girlfriend. He does not claim she is his wife. He negates that with intent down in Miami, Florida very recently. All right. So we got a big problem here. He's asking me for months leading up to the wedding uh, about all the stuff going on. He now claims that this guy, this guy named Sean Brady, is, is one of his uh, best friends, apparently, that, uh, you know, this guy is going to get privately married. He has questions for me that are more specific than what we had on the show, right? He goes, you guys can read this. You can pause it if you want. I'm not going to read the whole thing for you. But basically, it's someone claiming to be in April 21, 2019. One of Donovan's close friends, so close, in fact, that Donovan is going to be uh, his best man at his wedding in late July, exactly when Donovan got married. Interesting how that works, huh? Here's Donovan indicating that that email from Sean Brady is supposed to be real. This is Sean Brady is supposed to be a real human being, a real man that Donovan knows from college or something. You know, so here it is here. I would love to, but I'm the best man at my best friend's wedding, the one who's getting privately married. Okay, confirming the legitimacy of this email. This is a real email sent by someone that he knows. He goes here. Uh, he's asking me for more and more questions well after the interview in a show, right? After his fans were exposed to the idea and all that, he's asking me for more stuff. A couple of questions uh, off the air, just a phone combo. We did have that conversation, by the way, and he asked me much more specific questions than were previously discussed on the show that you guys saw here and on his Patreon and on his YouTube. Now we have this Sean Brady guy coming out of nowhere. Interesting. I never heard of this guy. For those of you who are fans, you ever heard about his friend Sean Brady? Neither have I. It keeps going. There's a whole bunch of these. You know, my buddy Sean's going to email you about private marriage, blah, blah, blah. I'll let him know. You know, I tell, I tell Donovan here I'm busy, to even too, too busy with the events to even answer the email that year. It keeps going, you know, my best friend in college is interested in private marriage. Do I have your permission to give him your email? He's not going to quiz you, just the ins and outs, blah, blah, blah. It keeps going on and on and on about this Sean Brady guy. Here's the problem. This guy, Sean Brady, doesn't fucking exist. And I'm willing to go to court. I'm happy, eager, and willing, and ready to go to court over it. That Sean Brady is not a real human being that Donovan is claiming to be. It's 100% bullshit. Google, this is a Gmail address, by the way, from Sean Brady. So Google, Gmail. Google has a permanent IP address of where that email came from. And it came from your fucking house, Donovan, because Sean Brady doesn't exist. You were not the best man at his wedding. There's not a single photo of you in existence being a best man at your, uh, your friend's wedding. Because that dude doesn't fucking exist. It was your fucking wedding. 
You want to know how? So we have all this fucking this uh, corroborating evidence, I guess you'd call it, of Donovan getting increasingly interested over and over and over again with private marriage, private marriage out of nowhere, after seeing me do it uh, my own years prior with another woman. We then have the invention of this guy who no one's ever fucking heard of. Donovan is is pestering me about over and over and over again, private marriage and his friend and this and that. It just won't stop. I'm busy with events, this and that. You know, it doesn't seem to be a big deal. I explained it as well as I could on the show. It was a pretty long show. It was almost like an hour or something, you know, on his Patreon and all that. So what are all these specific questions and why is he white knighting for his friend so hard? His friend could easily talk to an attorney. Donovan indicates, you know, to his friend that I'm not an attorney. Of course I'm not. An attorney could explain to him much better what the ins and outs of what this, uh, what this direction in life could go to, what this its course of action for trying to get married and build a family without the government could do. Donovan is obsessed with it. But here's the kicker, guys. Here's what's really going to fucking, you know, fuck up your whole day. Donovan Sharp, right here with George Bruno. Donovan Sharp asked George Bruno to marry him. I know this for a fact. He asked George Bruno to marry him the exact same way that I had a speaker marry us, Greg Swan, from the 21 convention. And almost had Socrates uh, marry us instead. It was a very tough call for me at the time for reasons that are just not important to the show. So Donovan did the same thing. He asked the speaker who he was close with, George Bruno, to marry him. George, of course, was busy at the 21 convention in Poland that year, uh, that year. so he couldn't go. Donovan even kind of fucks us up here, and he says, now, uh, let me see if I have it available for you guys. Yeah, it's not that important anyway. Donovan, by the way, later had his one-year anniversary in Orlando, which you can see from this text, uh, right after he ended up, uh, you know, one year later after getting married. So it is what it is. He asked George Bruno to marry him. The speakers have seen the wedding ring itself uh, here. Many of them have seen it. She has explicitly claimed it's a wedding ring. She has, she wears it on her ring finger and it's a big ass fucking ring. She's all about it and she loves it. So why is Donovan lying about this? Well, we're gonna explore that. But again, we need to reiterate that Donovan is repeatedly, he even had his honeymoon, by the way, down in Florida, right after getting married in July, when he was too busy to speak, of course, at the 21 convention in Poland in late July, because he was getting fucking married. One more time, this is Donovan Sharp denying this in public after being exposed and accused of being married to this woman. You know yes, yes. Listen, I have a confession to make. I have a yes. confession to make. Yes, I am secretly married to Devin. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Unbelievable. 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 That. that shows very clear intent to continue hiding this even after he's been exposed on this channel. And on the video clip I showed you where I accused him of being legally married, and I'm doing it again. I'm well, not legally married necessarily. He may be legally married. He may not be. Me and my ex-wife, uh, Medusa, as you guys know her, were not legally married. What did we do? We did the things that I discussed on Donovan's fucking show, on the Patreon show, on the YouTube show. We had a wedding. We exchanged vows. We exchanged rings. Our families were present. We had a honeymoon in Hawaii, similar to what Donovan did in the Florida Keys. Picture I've read here. It's all over his uh, social media still from when he did this. It was not a random vacation. It was a honeymoon after the wedding. So private marriage essentially is a, is a method to avoid the government and still have a lot of the benefits of being married. A lot of the, maybe not benefits per se, but a lot of the functions uh, that we talk, you know, Rand Paul's discussing here. You know what me and my wife, ex-wife did not do? We did not present as legally married. We filed our taxes separately. If we did something like rent a car where they ask you if you're married, we would say, hey, we had a wedding, but we're not legally married, so we can't do that. We were very clear about things at every step, just like I was on my YouTube channel about this relationship and this marriage. Donovan is trying to have his cake and eat it too. He wants to be privately married to this woman, Devon Sharp, as she's called, and not be open in public about it so that he can continue bitching about marriage in public indefinitely and not be considered a hypocrite. He is directly lying to his own audience, including on video in Miami, Florida, for direct financial benefit. So that he can keep this shtick up that he's anti-marriage and going to bitch about this and that and men getting divorce raped and all this stuff. Stuff he talks about all the fucking time. Meanwhile, he's fucking married and hiding it and lying about it over and over and over again. His YouTube channel. Let's have a look at his YouTube channel. So let's have a look here, guys. His YouTube channel has hundreds of videos, hundreds. For years now, almost two years across all these hundreds of videos, he talks about Devon Sharp all the fucking time. Over and over and over again, this woman, right? His girlfriend, they cohabitate, blah, blah, blah. And he explicitly denies being married to her and he is fucking married to her. And he asked George Bruno to marry them. 
on top of you know pretending that he has his friend the sean brady guy who doesn't fucking exist over and over and over and over again he bitches about this stuff and the public even believes that he's not married that he has a girlfriend and they're just caught there's dating cohabitating no donovan sharp has every intention to continue lying about this across all these hundreds of videos misleading the public and falsely advertising to them number one that's a problem because he's fucking lying that sean brady guy doesn't fucking exist he asked george bruno to marry them their wedding was in late july they have there's pictures of it there's fucking all kinds of evidence of it and shit so i'm happy to go to fucking court over it by the way donovan so it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse guys and there's a big problem here too let's have a look at this number one and we'll get into this more in a little bit what Donovan is doing in Florida is directly misleading his audience and another audience that is directly promoting his product, including in that exact video. He is falsely advertising the, na the nature of his relationship with this woman. This is false advertising. He is lying to these people, lying through comedy and humor and laughter and trying to claim he's secretly married. He, of course, is secretly married. He's trying to hide behind that like this fucking projection bullshit. Another problem is that in many states, he would be considered common law married, perhaps not the state that he lives in, but in many states in the United States, he would be considered common law married, which is a form of legal marriage requiring a divorce to separate. That's also true in uh, many countries like Canada, for example, like the whole country is like that. It's very easily to be considered uh, common law married, which is a form of legal marriage. Even in states like Texas, you can get common law married, especially if you declare yourself like Donovan and his wife have to be married to have a wedding. Whether or not they get the marriage license uh, specifically from the state after the fact is irrelevant in some states and many countries like Canada. You are considered legally married. Donovan is engaging in material deception on this issue. And again, we'll dig into that more in a bit. This is a big fucking deal. He's a stone cold fucking liar on this issue and he is fucking married. He did have a wedding. He exchanged vows with her. He intends to spend the rest of his fucking life with her. They traded rings, all this blow honeymoon, the whole fucking works. And he goes in fucking public and says this bullshit. You know yes, yes. Listen, I have a confession to make. I have a confession yes. to make. Yes, I am secretly married to Devin. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Unbelievable. Yeah, real funny, man. Real funny. We'll uh, investigate this more in a little bit, but that's kind of the basis here, guys. So in summary, Donovan Sharp is married to the woman known, you guys know, as Devon Sharp. She is a limited purpose public figure. We're going to look into that in a second. He has been uh, you know, parading this woman around as his girlfriend for a long time. And for a long time, she was just his girlfriend until July, late July, 2019, when he got married to her, they had a wedding. At this point, I don't know whether or not they specifically have gone forward and gotten a marriage license. They could be common law married, perhaps. I don't know exactly the laws on where they got married and the state they live in and all these things. It's complicated. What's important is that Donovan is fucking lying about this. Donovan asked George fucking Bruno to marry him to fucking marry him, to be the guy that married him. He asked George Bruno to fucking do that. And he's going to sit there and fucking public and lie to you guys like you're a fucking little bitch. That is how much he disrespects you. and doesn't give a flying fuck about you. He will lie to your face to make a buck off you. For direct financial benefit, this fucking con artist will falsely advertise, mislead you, and lie to you in public explicitly, including after being called out on it and exposed. He doubled down. He didn't say nothing and ignore it. He could have said nothing, right? That was one of his options. He could have opened up to it, taken responsibility. Hey, guys, you know, I actually did have a wedding with her a long time ago. It's kind of complicated. I talked to Anthony Johnson about it a lot. I asked George Bruno to marry us. I wanted to keep it private for a few months or a few years for these reasons. No, bullshit. He intended to keep that shit private indefinitely, hidden, secret from the public, which is not what I told him to do. And it fucks up the whole fucking thing. It makes it look stupid to the public. In hundreds and hundreds of videos, he pretends that woman is still his girlfriend. It's a lie. That is his wife. He calls her his wife, and she calls him her husband. That is how they fucking treat each other in real life. And in all these videos, all these videos to over 100,000 men, he fucking lies to them. He lies and lies and lies over and over again. Fucking liar. Fucking con artist. Fucking fraud. Fuck you, Donovan.